famous, I don't care how old you are, you don't take nude pictures of yourself. Once you take that picture, yeah. it goes into the cloud and it's available to any hacker who wants it. And if you don't know that in 2019, mm. that this is an issue, you, you, I'm sorry, your age does not, you don't get to do that. But you cannot be surprised that someone has hacked you, especially if you have stuff on your phone. I'm not gonna lie, I, I want to say that I feel pretty disgusting, you know, I feel pretty disgusting, Whoopi, well, knowing everyone's seen, like, you know, my shit. and, um, and I just want to say that me watching this interview made me feel really bad about myself. Shame on you, Whoopi, shame on you, and shame on you for putting that public opinion just out there like that for every young girl to think that they're disgusting for even taking a photo like that. Here we go, folks, with the snowflake generation. We got Whoopi Goldberg making a comment to try to enlighten a younger person in Bella Thorne, the model. You heard Whoopi, now you've got to hear what Bella Thorne had to say in response. Let's talk about it. But first, on this channel, we got to put on our plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Because I'm working on skilling my craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at, and helping you get those life gains. Please subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. So if you didn't know the story, Bella Thorne is a model. A model in the same elk as Giselle Bunchens. And she passed along some of her new photos to someone and she feels like it might have got hacked. So to get in front of that hack, she decided to release those news photos and Whoopi just basically gave her advice. If you're going to be taking pictures on your phone that is connected to any one of the cloud services, there's a chance it's going to get hacked. I didn't see nothing wrong with that. Hell, I thought that was great advice. If you're a celebrity and you got something to lose, it's like weighing the risk versus the reward. If you take a picture with a phone that is connected to the cloud, you have a chance of getting that hat. We live in a hacking generation. That's all Whoopi said. Listen to what this young lady had to say in response to that. I'm not gonna lie. I, I want to say that I feel pretty disgusting. You know, I feel pretty disgusting, Whoopi, knowing everyone's seen like, you know, my shit. And um, and I just want to say that me watching this interview made me feel really bad about myself. And I, and I hope you're happy. I, I really do. I really hope you're so fucking happy because i can only imagine all of the kids who have um their shit released and then they commit suicide and you know uh, you're so crazy for 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 thinking such terrible things on such an awful situation like you know i, I don't really want to go on the view anymore because i don't really want to be beaten down by a bunch of older women for my body and my sexuality i don't really feel like that and so I'm going to cancel my interview because I don't really want you guys talking about your views to young girls because I would not want my daughter to learn that and I would never say that to her. Okay, I'm done. Shame on you, Whoopi. Shame on you and shame on you for putting that public opinion just out there like that for every young girl to think that they're disgusting for even taking a photo like that shame on saying if you take a sexy photo then it basically deserves to get leaked like don't be surprised at all and don't feel sorry for yourself so if i go out to a party drinking and i want to dance on the dance floor do i deserve to be raped too because to me i see those two things really fucking similar okay Lord have mercy, ladies and gentlemen. Lord have mercy. Folks, when you hear Republicans use the term snowflake, it's usually a pejorative to sensitive ass marshmallow people. I'm a supporter of the Me Too movement because there are some inequalities between men and women. I'm someone who has apathy for someone. I don't have to go what you go through to know how you're feeling and know to help you. But this right here does not help me too, it does not help apathy. All Whoopi did was give you some advice and you went reaching, talking about getting sexy, going to the club and getting raped. The two don't even fucking match. Oh Lord, man, my head is spinning. It's spinning when I heard that. When I say spinning, spin my head the hell off. It's apples versus sour grapes. It's not even the same thing. You reaching from the moon to the bottom of the Grand Canyon trying to make a comparison of two things that are not the same. To say that there's inherent risk 
with putting your pictures on a phone and sending them is just the same thing to say that whenever you invest your money in real estate, there is an inherent risk. It's up to you to keep doing it. That's all Whoopi was saying. Based on Bella Thorne's video, it seems like she's got more going on in her mind and psyche than just new photos. It sounds like there might be some other issues going on there because I don't get it. And that's what people mean when they call you snowflake. That is the extreme of that. How in the hell are you comparing getting sexy, going in a club, getting raped, to you taking pictures in your phone, sending them to somebody, and your phone gets hacked? These two just, these two are not in the same vein. You know, how do you go from getting in the club, you're looking sexy, to you're getting raped? I mean, you skipped, I guess, the guy patting you on your ass while you're in the club. You skipped the part about how, I mean, it don't match, ladies and gentlemen. Life gain on this one as simply as this. Whoopi didn't do anything wrong. Hell, if anything, Whoopi deserves an apology for people trying to say that she was body shaming people, that she was trying to shame people not to take new pictures. I mean, look, what Whoopi could have done to clarify her argument was simply say, if you are going to take new pictures as a celebrity, don't connect your phone to the cloud. If you're going to take new pictures and you want to send them to a friend or someone you dating or whatever the case may be, maybe do it on a camera and give it to them. Either event, you still taking a risk by, let's say your phone is not connected to the cloud and you send it to somebody else. You still taking a risk of sending that picture to whoever that they might turn on your ass and decide to upload a picture. All Whoopi was trying to say is that by doing this, there's an inherent risk. How do you go from getting sexy in the club to rape? I'm still trying to figure out how that reach matches up, but I want to hear you guys' life gain on this one. Let me know what you think. I don't see what Whoopi done wrong. Hell, Whoopi deserves an apology for the backlash she got by dropping knowledge on this younger generation. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Hit me up, folks. Hit me on all my social media links. Let me know what you think about the snowflake generation. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.